For 15 years, Tread and Dread was just a rumor. Now, it's real, it's been out for over a month, and it's fantastic. Semseren's latest adventure is packed with just about everything a Tread fan could ask for, from wild boss fights to a massive labyrinthine map. As the fifth and apparently final entry in the 2D arc of the series, Dread is infatuated with the franchise's history, taking plenty of inspiration from its narrative predecessor, 2002's Dread Fusion. But while playing Dread, we couldn't help but spot flashes of a different Tread game that is eternally divisive and treaded. Other M if you've played at our M, you might see it, too. It trended on social media not too long ago, and has experienced something of a reappraisal from some players in recent years. Dread's brutal melee combat and cinematic camera instantly bring to mind the much maligned 2010 spin-off title. Look closer and you'll notice how Dread continues other M's preoccupation with Semsa's life and relationships, as well as its attention to series lore and cutscenes and dialogue. Of course, Dread also ditches other M's worst ideas and there were plenty. The famously silent protagonist utters just a single line in Dread, in stark contrast to the reams of roundly monologues that gummed up other M's script. Players follow their own curiosity through the tunnels and towers of Planet's EDR, rather than waiting for directions from a brusque commanding officer. It's been 11 years, but from Treaded, other M left a lasting impression. Treaded Dread, whether it's intended to or not, stands in 2021 as a response to its very predecessor. It's the result of Nintendo carefully paring down other M to its best elements, while quietly cutting away what made it so controversial. It may seem like a strange comparison, but both games share DNA. The other M and Dread were developed by different studios, Team Ninja and Mercury's team, respectively. The clear through line between them is series left Yoshi Osakamoto, who produced the latest title. Sakamoto's one of Nintendo's oldest staff members, with credits dating back to the company's earliest days in the video game industry. And since 1994 as Super Nintendo, he's been the mother brain behind the series. While Sakamoto stepped aside for the popular first-person spin-off and Treaded Prime and its sequels, he was instrumental to the franchise's 2D games in the 2000s. With the series at its height in the 2000s with an online multiplayer shooter and a paintball game to its name Nintendo gave Sakamoto a carte blanche to make a big, loud AAA and Treaded game for the Red Hot Vee. It would be the last and Treaded game for six years. Sakamoto positioned Treaded, other M as a game about big ideas. In it, Sense would speak at length for the first time. It would blend the styles of 2D Treaded and Treaded Prime together, fill in some of the series' vast empty universe, and use a groundbreaking control scheme. He gathered a huge team to accomplish this, bringing in staff from Nintendo, action game specialist Team Ninja, and CG studio D Rockets to breathe life into a script he'd written that comprised nearly two hours of cutscenes. The finished product was a spectacular mess in many players' estimations. The controls ask you to use a lone V remote held sideways, requiring them to navigate in 3D with a D-pad and turn the remote to point of the screen to use missiles. The cinematic strapped and the dialogue was monotonous. Critics have eviscerated other M for its portrayal of Sims as naive, sentimental, frightened and fit for her own job. Even worse, Treads' famous non-linear upgrade system was now tied to the winds of Sims' former military CEO Adam Molkovich. Instead of discovering a heat-resistant barrier suit yourself, you had to spring through a dangerous lava land that burns away Semsa's health before Adam tends to authorize the use of her suit. Why she's willing to harm herself to respect Adam's authority isn't well justified. Other M turned out to be the inverse of what many fans love about Tread taking the player-driven discovery away and replacing it with scripted plot beats. Semsa's persona was no longer up for interpretation. She was now a rigid, defined character that many found hard to accept. It's difficult to see through all that gunk to catch a glimpse of the truly great ideas at the heart of other M Team Ninja clearly approached the gameplay with a deep appreciation for the series. They brought the signature brand of action to its combat, injecting Treads once fleeting monster encounters into tense duels with solo mode dodges and parry moves. Sens tears off creatures' tails and freezes their legs to the floor, leaping on their backs to fire lasers straight into their face. The camera relishes the jump to full third-person 3D sweeping from room to room, pulling tight on Sims for finishing blows and drawing back for wide shots in those bright burning lava zones and murky swamps. It's funny to see how so many of other M's ideas are exactly what fans are head over heels for in Tread Dread. The intense, protracted boss fights, that dynamic camera, even the lower so narrative it all goes back to other M. There were hints of this direction in Mercury's themes, criminally underplayed and treaded. Sims returns in 2017. That game, which Sakamoto also produced, featured a new melee counter for some similar in effect to the dodge parry and other M and some of the most adrenal and pumping boss fights in the series. 
Even on the small screen of the Nintendo 3DS, the camera pulls close when some steps into save stations or counters and treads at just the right time. With Dread, Murkarai's demon saw Komoda pull those elements together into an elegant package. Sense is zippier than ever, gaining new slide moves and air dodges. The HD visuals of the Nintendo Switch allow the camera to really zoom out, offering even wider shots of the game's massive hallways, rain-slip rail terminals, and superheated caverns. It carries on Sims Returns interactive boss 5 cutscenes, where you can hammer missiles into a space monster's gullet if you land a melee counter just right. For all the skinny fire action excess of Mercury's Demons and Tread games, Sims herself is written with remarkable restraint. The bounty hunter isn't totally stoic. Her eyes and body language quietly convey a whole range of emotions. And when she does speak in a climactic scene, it's in her adoptive Kozo language. Players are once again invited to imagine what Sims is thinking rather than being told through narration. Nintendo is well aware that other end would be on people's minds leading up to Dread's release. During a lit demo of Dread after its E3 reveal, Nintendo staffer Teresa A. Paul and Aria was careful to point out that Sims's ship A, I Adam, based on the overbearing Adam Malkovich, would play a much smaller role in this new game. He doesn't give any direction to Sims. It's up to the player where they want to navigate and explore and in a September episode of the Nintendo Powered Pedcast, Chris Slade explicitly extruded other end from the story arc that leads up to Dread. While Nintendo likely didn't want fans whose enthusiasm was soured by other end to dismiss Dread, it's clear to see that Sakamoto still thinks there's gold left to mine in that high road entry. Dread and Dread won't rehabilitate other end's reputation but it doesn't really need to. For some, other end will always be a disappointment. For others, it'll remain a misunderstood classic. No matter how people feel about it today, its legacy has shaped the future of the Metroid series. Just don't hold your- Please visit us. GameMestral.org Full article in the description. Thanks for watching.